Okay guys, so we're gonna do a little review today. Um, typically I am working on my truck build, which you guys can see here, but I wanted to check out something today that's a little different. I'm going to do a review and a test on basically a cheap Chinese product. So this is an Epman uh, HD style uh, intercooler clamp assembly. So it's basically a vibrant HD knockoff and I wanted to see how bad or good these things are. And um, yeah, so I figured why not buy a couple and we'll test them out. They're cheap enough to, you know, sacrifice uh, for science. So uh, I think this was like $12 a piece and I think shipping was like 30 bucks from China. So you're better off buying a couple of them. I bought three, uh, one to sacrifice and two for an intercooler if this one works out. So overall impression, um, Machining looks pretty good. Overall, I wouldn't say that the, the surface finish is like uh, impeccable, but it's definitely smooth and it seems to be uh, half decent. No chatter or anything like that. Um, so overall, that seems pretty good. Uh, not sure what material they claim this is. You never know with Ch the Chinese what they're actually getting. The clamp itself seems pretty nice. Um, this is like a positive retention style clamp. Uh, so how, basically how this works is you have a sleeve, you have an O-ring like set like this. You have a sleeve that goes over top of them, which I'm not going to do right now. And then you have this guy, which basically positively retains them. So what we're gonna do is we are going to weld these to some plate, and then I am going to pressurize them uh, to 100 and, well, whatever my air compressor is, 135 PSI. We'll leak check them if they don't explode right away and uh, see how they do. So let's try it out. Okay guys, so this is what we got. I got both ends welded on and uh, I put a AN fitting, a sacrifice in here, a, a dash eight to, uh, I guess this is a quarter inch at BT and then put an air truck on here. So we're gonna go ahead and test this at some air pressure. Um, general notes about welding it, it didn't seem too bad. Um, whatever material it is, uh, it did require a little bit more cleaning action than say what the plate normally would when I weld this plate together. This is 3003, 30, yeah, 3003. Um, need a little bit more a cleaning. I think it was like 40% cleaning when normally I have to only, only run like 25%, but that's not a big deal. It's a little bit thicker material, so that might be okay. I'm not a aluminum TIG water really by any stretch of the imagination. So um, just slapping some some boogers on there and uh, we're just more worried about function than anything. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the air chuck hooked onto this and then I'm going to stand over by the regulator and slowly ramp up the pressure. Okay, so right now uh, the hose isn't plugged into the regulator, but we're about 20 feet on the regulator. So you'll see it go on here now. One sec. Or at 80 PSI. I didn't hear any explosion, so at least passed the first test, it held. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a bucket of water, fill it up, and then we're gonna submerge it, and then uh, do it again. Crank it up and see if we get any bubbles out of it. Okay, so now I have the thing submerged in water. Um, I don't have the air fitting submerged in water, it's just up to the nut. So if my welds leak, that's my problem, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up with some air. And then if it starts to leak, uh, I'll be able to see it on the video and I'll come in here and see what it looks like. So we're gonna go to 100 PSI in the slow increments like we did before and then see what it does. Okay. 
Okay, so that is 60 PSI right there. Let me check. There's literally not a single bubble out of that thing. It is tight, tight. So that's great. All right, uh, let's crank it up. Okay, so that's 120 and we got out of leak. So now, yep, and it is coming out of the O-ring. So um, I can see, let me see here. Right there, you can see I'm starting to get just a little leak. Uh, let me turn the pressure down and we'll watch on the camera together. Watch those bubbles and we'll see when they go away. Still got a little leak. ADPSI. Still a slight leak, it's going slower. PSI. Looks like we're. Yeah, so if you jiggle it, it stops leaking. Take it out here. Try not to blow myself up. So all I did there was I, I wiggled it around and just sort of reseated it, and uh, that made a difference. So I'm going to push in. I'm going to push down on it without doing what I just did and getting the air hose. Damn it. All right, now we're on. So I'm just going to push. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't seem like now it's sealed up. So let's crank it back up in pressure again. It's leaking out of my uh, welds, but can't blame it for that. PSI, definitely leaking out the top of some pinholes in my welds, um, but it appears that we're sealed up. So um, maybe there's a piece of debris or something in it before, but it looks like the clamp is sealed. So pretty good, not bad. Okay, so just to show you guys the function of this thing, there's a little clamp right there. And we're just going to push that pin and this comes out. It's easier to do than what this makes it look because I didn't give myself a lot of clearance. So that just comes out. You separate the clamp. There's the sleeve. And there's your, your pieces. So pretty simple. Overall, I would give this a thumbs up. I mean, it's not as nice as like the Vibrant stuff or, you know, the American Made stuff, but... Um, or Plasma Man or any of those guys, but for seven bucks, I mean, this is this is gonna be fine. Uh, it didn't even leak at all until 60 psi, and then at you know 60 psi, it started to get a little tiny bubble, which is basically nothing. And uh, 120 psi is about the same, and then just reseated it, sort of jiggled the O-rings, and it sealed right back up tight and held 120 psi again. So uh, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up and say I'm gonna go ahead and use these. So uh, if you liked uh, this video and it was found it helpful, let me know and leave uh, something in the comments and I'll get back to you. So thanks a lot, guys.